Hello everyone, as most of you already know, I recently went on a trip to Iowa and while I was there, I went vintage shopping and bought so much cute stuff. So I wanted to show you guys everything I bought and how I styled it in my home. I'm going to be linking all the shops I went to down below, so if you're interested, check that out. Also, I do have an Iowa vlog and I showed some clips of me at these stores. So if you're interested in that, I will also link my Iowa vlog down below. First, I'm gonna start with wall decor. So I got these adorable ballerina prints. I have them hanging in my bathroom and they just go with the theme of my bathroom and they look so cute. The second wall decor item I got are these adorable big eye prints. I love that they take place in Paris and I love the girls' go-go boots, it's so cute. And I also love the little kitty climbing at the boy's leg. I got this adorable Mexico straw bag and I'm just gonna use this as a little purse. I think these are so cute for summer and I actually have a few of these. One of the shops I went to is called Porchlight and they had a mixture of new and vintage items but they had this adorable collection of these little books and they were all on different subjects and they're just filled with quotes on that subject. So the one I got is House and Home and it just has a bunch of adorable quotes about your home. Um, my favorite is these two quotes. They're right on top of each other. One says, less is more, and the other says, less is a bore. I happen to think less is a bore. The next book I got is this adorable dictionary. I think this is probably the cutest dictionary I've ever seen. The last book is this Betty Crocker's party book. I love collecting um, old Betty Crocker cookbooks, and they also have a bunch of decorating and party planning books like this one. The illustrations and the fonts and everything are adorable and I just get a lot of inspiration from them. Also from Porchlight, I got these three little bowls and I'm gonna use these for cooking to put small ingredients in them. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Claire Thomas, does this so I got that idea from her and they had pretty much every color you can think of but I really liked these three colors together. Now I'm gonna share a bunch of ceramic kitschy pieces that I got. One of my most favorite things I bought is this toothbrush holder. It's for a woman and a man and unfortunately the woman's side is too small to put a toothbrush in and I actually broke it and had to glue it when I got home because I tried putting my toothbrush and it just totally crushed it. So right now Brandon is on tour, so I'm using his side. Um, I might try to find a toothbrush that can fit in it just because I love it so much. But if not, the current toothbrush holder that I use fits perfectly in the middle, so it might just be a more of a decorative piece. My mom has a huge collection of lady heads, so whenever we go shopping together, I always let her buy a lady head if it's a good price. But I decided I want a few of my own, so I bought this one. It is freaking adorable. I love the little pigtails, and it was only $12.95, so that's a great price for a lady head. If you follow me on Instagram or have seen photos of my home, you know that my bathroom is totally poodle themed. So when I found this poodle lipstick holder, I was super excited and I knew it had to go in my bathroom. Since I have a Siamese cat, I am always on the search for some unique Siamese pieces and these salt and pepper shakers are just so cute. I love the eyelashes on the little one and they go great in my hutch that's actually already filled with a bunch of Siamese figurines. I got two pairs of bookends while I was in Iowa and the first pair are these little Bambi bookends and as you guys might know I have a lot of deer and Bambi themed things in my kitchen so they look great holding my cookbooks up. And the second pair of bookends are these little poodles. I had to find a spot to put these so I ended up putting them in the bookshelf in my hallway but they are just too cute I couldn't pass them up. That's it for the vintage items but I also got quite a few prints from this amazing letterpress design studio called The Permanent Collection. Brandon and I found their stuff at the farmer's market and we just fell in love. She has the cutest prints and I can't wait to frame them and hang them up. So a lot of her prints are Iowa Midwest theme and Brandon loved this one so he got this. It says, the mighty Midwest, I ain't afraid of no coast. The next Iowa themed print is this little map of Iowa and it says, our liberties we prize and our rights we will maintain. 
The next print we got, I think I'm gonna have to hang in the kitchen. It says, fresh produce from the farm, support America's farmers by local. The fourth print is probably my favorite and I feel like it really fits the vibe of mine and my dad's company street plant and it says, we have a strategic plan, it's called doing things. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said before, my Iowa vlog link and also links to all of the shops I went to will be down below, so definitely check that out. And also, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, like vintage home decor and vintage items, definitely give me a follow on Instagram because I'm always posting stuff like this in my stories. My mom and I have a space at Magnolia and Willow, so I'm always sharing items that are for sale and also just items around my house. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll be back very soon. Dream.